What up, what up, what up? Welcome to yet another episode of the Ugly Money Podcast brought to you by Touch of O'Shea. All natural skincare, totally vegan, totally organic. I mean, they got body butters, they got hair oils, they got even deodorant. Lemon pepper deodorant. Yeah, you got to go to Touch of O'Shea. Follow them at Touch of O'Shea. All natural, all vegan hair and skin products made by us for us. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a special guest among special guests. I've been looking forward to this since like last week. <laughs> uh, this particular young lady has been everywhere. Singer, songwriter, wife, mother, star, fixing. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kisses in the building. I try to give like the best like intros. I love you. Yeah, I'll be trying to give like them DJ MV intros without. Made me feel real. You are special. Sparkly. You special. <laughs> Thank you. You important. I appreciate that. So who was Miss Kiss before Miss Kiss became Miss Kiss? Who was I before? Mm-hmm. Oh, you want to go back to? Like, I want to go back. Okay, well I was. A it's a different interview. A star. Okay. Mm -hmm. Back in the late 80s through the 90s to early 2000s. So where are you from? From New York, from the Bronx. Okay, okay, okay. Bow, we outside, son. I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you got into adult film early on. Yeah. You said er, like 80s, early 90s. Yeah, I think I was 18 when I did my first Ooh, movie. fresh out the gate. Fresh out the Jumped gate. off the porch, yeah. jumped in front of the camera. Yes. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, like, like, let's talk about early years, though. Let's talk about before that. Um, you know, when you were Miss Chavis, is it the correct spelling? The correct um, saying? I was married, so that was my married name. Yes, Chavis. Okay, so I'm talking about before you stepped in front of that camera. Who was who was oh, Miss Keisha Kiss? Keisha Seabrook. Oh, yes. Miss Keisha. Keisha Seabrook. I love I love some Keishas now. <laughs> so what was growing up like? I grew up with my grandmother. Okay. She was a strict Jehovah Witness. Amen. Uh, my mom was um, pursuing her career. Actually, my mom performed in Germany when I wow. was young. Yeah, she was on a USO tour. The band um, that sings uh, GQ. Okay. Before they became GQ, she toured with them in Germany. Wow. Yep. And so your mom was... And moved to the Virgin Islands with me. Mili military backing? No, just... I've lived in Germany spirit. before. I've lived in Germany, Mannheim, and um, what was it, Mannheim, and we were in, the first time we were in Augsburg. Augsburg. Die high school? Yeah, sehr gut. Ich heiße, ich heiße ugly money. Ich heiße Kisha Chavez. That's all I know. Ich kann auch, ich kann mir als Kiss Major. Ooh. Ich bin ein Künstler aus Deutschland. Yeah. Ja. Ja. Ja, ich bin an der, I was on the voice. Okay. In Deutsch, in Germany, in Deutschland. Yeah, we spent, we spent six years, my dad was in the military, we spent six years in Germany, um, and I fell in love with schnitzel and German ketchup, curry ketchup. Schnitzel, I don't like the curry ketchup, it's disgusting. I just got some I'm imported so, today. You can get it at the, um, <laughs> at the Korean market on Buford Highway. Okay? Really? Yes, you can, they have every section you You know what, I, I just had it imported from Germany you today. You don't have to do that, it probably cost you too much. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Small world. Small. So, what parts of um? So, okay. So, we get into this this adult film industry. Yes. Pros and cons. Um, the pros were that the money could be really, really good if Amen. you were intelligent. Okay. You know, um, the cons are that if you were tortured, damaged goods mm. it could not be so lucrative you know um you just don't make the right decisions financially mm -hmm. you know like and then being um an ethnic performer um it's a different boat for us you yeah know? i hear that a lot yeah like back in the day they would have sets where the white sets would have masseuses and you know all kind of fly stuff and then we would just be like on set like whatever Mm. You know, also a lot of, you'll notice like Jenna Jameson and yeah. um, a lot of the 
um, white females were able to get residuals, which is something that um, a friend of mine and I are going to start looking into. For sure. Now that I have a platform for it, um, we're going to go back and see if we can monetize everybody monetizing off of me because I didn't sign up for internet. I signed up for your video. Oh, you're right. You got a whole nother bag waiting. Right, exactly. So it's a conversation that's about to be had with not just myself, but a couple of other porn stars. Heather, um, Janet Jackme, Champagne Penn Davis. We're going to rally up and get our money because we deserve it. We need them coins. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because, uh, I mean, your your content from back in those days is, you know, it's, it's, it's up. And, yeah, it is. And, and it, it would totally be unfair for you to do all that amazing work. Right. Amazing and work. And now you guys are, you know, profiting and not just off of the videos but or the DVDs, but now you have me on the internet and I didn't sign up for internet distribution. Shit, I internet won't before. even bend it back then. Yeah, yeah. Gonna, somebody got to work something out. So, yeah, we need that. Run it. Run my bread and <laughs> do it before I have to get nasty. She needs her coins, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so what? Let me ask a spicy question. What do you feel was the freakiest thing you ever did on camera? A double penetration. <laughs> okay, that's a bomb drop. <laughs> that's a bomb drop. <laughs> just two of them. Just hey. <laughs> just what how do you prepare for that mentally um and get an enema <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. I can imagine. you know yeah you get your mind right get your mind right like, straight. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to like you know pep talk yourself yeah like, I do pep talk myself you know <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a cool day at work one of those days <laughs> <laughs> uh, any uh, was it uh was it painful at all or was it um Sometimes, but it depends. Like you know, when you when it first goes in, it hurts. Like period. Like no matter what. But then it starts to feel good, so it's not bad. Like if you get into it, you can really bust some serious orgasms. Like my last film, I like I don't know what happened because I was like, "What's that?" <laughs> I never. <laughs> and my gay friend was on set, and he was like, "Bitch, skeet skeet from the windows to the oh, wall." Shit. Because I I. I, I ejaculated. Uh -huh. I've never had that happen before. Oh, just pop one out. Yeah, it was a whole ejaculation. Like it was like I was like, "What the fuck is this?" And it was like you know, like 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 ejaculation. Hmm. It's crazy. Hey, because from my <laughs> anal um, to scene. Yeah. What do you think your biggest kink is? I like to watch people fucking. Hey. <laughs> a lot of us do. Yeah, I'm a little pervert. Like, I like to watch it when they don't know I'm watching, though. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 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 you're, oh, yes. <laughs> like, I'm in a hotel, and there's a balcony over there. I'm like, okay, let's see who's having sex. That kind of shit. I'm a little, you know. You're like a peeping Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. I mean, hey, yeah. you know, everybody has their thing. <laughs> you know, you could have you could have said peeing on niggas or some shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> It's a whole lot of things. It's a whole lot of crazier things than just. You can't say that kind of stuff when I'm drinking. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All over the place. Oh my god. Yeah. But, but no. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And definitely no golden showers. I'm not into that. Not into that. I mean, because you know, Amy Young Miami like and Diddy, you know, was, was you know, Young Miami <laughs> says she loves it. She's like, <laughs> like, give me the pee. I don't want one. I'll give you one if that's what you want. So you. you <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'll pass. But um, <laughs> so so the golden shower. If 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 P Diddy. No. Today. Absolutely not. I'll pee on him. Oh, he cannot I, I, pee on me. It's P. Diddy. I will listen. It's a different type of bread. I don't wanna I don't wanna speak okay, so there was someone who um paid me a lot of money to pee on them back in the day. Um and he asked me would I and I said no. I have no, my nose are nose. I like that. Period. There's nothing, period. There's not enough. It's not. It's no, not, there's not enough. There's like, no you have to have a standard somewhere. For sure. You know sure. what I'm no, saying? Sure, like, sure. you just, you know, just can't be for everything, you know? So, so what besides 
golden showers would be your limits. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't I don't want to be spit on. I don't like that kind of shit. So you can't spit in your mouth? No, I don't spit in my mouth. I don't even like you to spit on my pussy. Really? I don't like like I like when if I'm getting, you know, being eaten out. I don't like it when it's really wet and dripping down my legs. You know, like if you're like all, if it, I can feel your slobber, I don't want that. I can tell the difference between you and me. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm. I'm a little, I'm a little strange. I have like my little proclivities. My yeah, little. you you got like you know like on so, one end you're extremely liberal, and another end you're extremely prude. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> You like picky and, and greedy at the same time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I've deserved the right to know how I like it and how I don't. I'm a grown ass woman. No, nah, for sure. So I'm like, don't do it like that. Do it like this. Don't do it like that. I like it. I like Faster, it. Faster, slower, harder. You know. So, so making love, mm-hmm. having sex, mm-hmm. or fucking. Pick one. If you could do one for the rest of your life. Would you make love? Would you have sex? Or would you fuck? Aw, that's not fair. Because <laughs> fucking is fun sometimes. And I love making love, too. But, oh, I have to choose. I'll say making love. Aw. That's so cute. Thank you. That's so cute. Aw, I give you a bomb drop. I give you a bomb drop. You seem, you know what's, you know what's, um, <clears throat> On the outside looking in, right? So we all knew, well, we all know about like a week ago, you know, this video of, of this young lady. Mm-hmm. I think she looks like you. Um, pops up on everybody's timeline, right? Mm-hmm. And we don't know exactly what to think. But now, being in front of you, I can honestly say that your energy is extremely positive. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, and, and if anybody, in, you know, and y'all know how, I kick it. <laughs> I be hard, but you got like really, you got a real bright aura, and your <clears throat> your energy is extremely positive. Like you, you can definitely much. tell. I appreciate that. And I can see how you're easy to fall in love with. Ah, uh, thank you. You feel what I'm saying? Ah, uh, thank you. So, how did you get the number one draft pick of 1995 to fall in love with you? <laughs> Take it back to the good days. Well, we met in California. I just returned from Germany. Um, it was a party, a BET Awards party that we went that I went to with some friends. I had done a love manifestation that night and asking for certain things, and I met Joe. We, um, I'm hard to get rid of. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. It was like my getting rid of was. Either I'm here with you or I go back to Germany. Oh, wow. What do you want? You know what I'm saying? And so it was like, okay, well, I don't want you to go. Because I'm like, you know, you might not come back. And I do want to still get to know you. But so we stayed together, you know. Um, so from that party? From that party, like not Cruise instant, control. Not instantly. Oh, okay. Like it, he stood me up <clears throat> on the first date. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Yeah, that was. And then I was like, how would your mother feel if she knew you did that? That's not nice. And then he was like, um, I promise I'm going to show up the next time. That's sweet. And then we went out, and then my birthday was up, and then his birthday. And then we just, I don't know, it just, you know, we just happened to just. That's dope. It just vibed. Um, how did he fall in love with me? I honestly can say, I know that he loves me deeply. Yeah. But. When you're not in love with yourself, you can't really be in love with someone else. So, speak it. Um, I know that he loves me as much as he can. Hmm. That's deep. Hmm. You got yeah, because we gotta love ourselves before we can really truly love someone else. Right. Yeah. So, that's 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 that's. You you seem to be very peaceful, actually. You know, on that video. <clears throat> It, it wasn't a, it didn't seem peaceful, like, <laughs> you know? but, but now, you know what I'm saying? Cause, cause you got to understand most, most higher value guys, you know, pleasure comes, but the peace is their sanctuary. If, if, if a man can find peace in a woman or whatever, that's where he's going to lay his hat down. That's where he's going to want to make his home or whatever. Right. I mean, for those women 
that aspire to attract uh, these high value guys. I'm not saying that you are actually attracting them. What are some pointers? Um, to be genuine, to be yourself. You know, I never came to him as anything else. Like, even when I told him who I was, he was like, I already knew that. Mm. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, <laughs> okay, great. And he still like me, <laughs> you know? And that w that meant so much to me. I'm still pretty sure he like, yeah, because he like, I want to get it. I get that every <laughs> night. <laughs> right? no, that meant a lot to me. It still so, does that he just accepted me for who I am. Um, no judgments or anything. Um, my only beef is how hard I have to fight with him to take care of himself. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not taking care of yourself. You can't take care of us. And this whole thing, honestly, I like, I didn't, you know how much stuff I put on the internet and nobody pays attention to? Really? <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah. So I didn't, I did it. And who, who I, I didn't think anybody was really going to tap in. Watch. <laughs> nobody taps in anyway. Yeah. yeah. You know? Mm. But, they tapped into that, <laughs> and I'm sorry, babe. <laughs> That's all I can say. You know, I'm sorry I mean, at this point, but I'm not really sorry because I'm like, look, <laughs> look at me now, ma. Hey. You know? Well, you know, if, um, if the intent was to create more revenue, I'm pretty sure you're doing that now. Well, I mean, I, really, I know I this. Didn't this quarter, any intent but being a bitch at the time. You yeah, know what right. I was mad. <laughs> yeah, you know, I yeah. mean, I have my moments. I am his piece, but there's a lot of times I'm his pain in the ass For sure. too. Sure. <laughs> like now, <laughs> 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 I'm like, oh my god, there's the camping, and then the, 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 that's a little too much shit. Like, yeah. oh my god, and it's like that. We just we're just playing on the you know the interview yeah. and. Now it's like some other shit. So I know that's going to be something else. He's not going to want to not answer the phone for me more. You know, just what have so much shit. Not to not to pocket watch, but since this last couple of days, what does the OnlyFans numbers look like? Um, I was in the top twenty two percent. Yeah. Before. Yeah. I'm in the top point four seven right now. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm drunk. laughs> Ching ching, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Daddy, thank you so much. I'm so happy to be able to just, you know, give you what you want. Hey, I, I, I can I can see why they subscribe. You know what I'm saying? You are you are a lovely lady. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. You know, I saw Cameron, he was shooting it. Well, he was he was being a little flirtatious with you. <laughs> yeah, he made me blush. Yeah, he might, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna see if Nietzsche can make you blush too, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, so you, yeah, more than the top one percent. You're in the top. What do you say? Top what? Top point. Like it's like the point, and then zero four seven or something. So it's active. Yeah, it's active. Let's just top say point four. Yeah, zero point four seven. Let's just say the bills are getting paid this month. This month, yes, For and sure. I'm very proud to do it. Um, that was the whole purpose of doing it, correct? Um, actually, no, mm -hmm. I didn't have any, it wasn't, I didn't come in this with, um, with a agenda. I'm talking about not, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about actually creating an OnlyFans page. Oh yeah. That was, that was my yeah. point. Yeah. And that was, <laughs> it's working. I was making a little bit of money on it and I really wasn't posting anything too yeah. much cause I was trying to be low key with it. So I had a couple of pictures, you know, like you can scroll back through the timeline and see mm -hmm. how often I posted and what I posted. So. Um, because it, you know, it, it had been reported that, you know, Joe was going, and I don't want to go too deep in it, but you know, he had been having a, some financial, you know, just some financial troubles. Yeah. There's been a lot. Um, <clears throat> um, taxes than, are a motherfucker. I mean, aside from that, just, just a bunch of things that I just don't really care to get into because yeah. I think enough of his business is um, sure. exposed and I feel that it's up to him to say anything more if he wants to, because now is the time to. Respect. For him, you know, babe, I'm talking to you right now. You're not really speaking to me, but I wish you were because right now is the time for you to, um, you know, monetize on this and do whatever you can do to get things flowing because I want to help you out also. If you just talk to me, please. Thank you. <clears throat> if Joe is watching. 
What else do you want to tell them? I love you so much. Um, I really didn't intend for this to be, um, come on, you know, all the time I'm posting things and nothing ever happens. You know what I'm saying? So who knew? I didn't know. And I'm sorry, you know, but again, I'm not sorry because I just need you to come home and talk to me so I can let you know what's going on. Let's work it out. You know? You got the rent money. You, oh, got, yeah. you got it. Like, hey. you need a car. Huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you need things. So, you know. Do you think you have inadvertently started to solve your financial troubles through this situation um, unexpectedly? Um. What, like, did I think about it, like, before? No, 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 what I'm saying is, like, isn't it kind of ironic that you having a a, a, a disagreement about... Money. Yeah. <laughs> ends up solving. And then actually solves. <laughs> right. Right? That's kind of weird, huh? Point four percent, bro. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, and, it, and it, it's, just, it's just funny how the universe kind of works in mysterious ways, you know what I mean? You want to know? I've been... Um, just talking to the universe a lot lately and working on manifestation. Mm -hmm. And I want to just tell everybody this. I've been telling myself for the last month, every day, about five or six times a day, I have more money than I know what to do with and I cannot help but to attract lots of money to me. Come on. Okay? <laughs> Come on. Money flows through me and to me abundantly and fluidly, <laughs> allowing me to not only to quench my thirst, but the thirst of those I love and those who are also in need. So Amen. when you want to give back as well, I think that helps because, you know, I've always been like, if you ask anyone, I've taken I taken dogs, cats, people. You know, Joe is the most private person, and he's got the most people in his house. Like, what the fuck? Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, because I'm always bringing someone home. <laughs> I don't mean like someone home like that. Oh, okay. Cause, <laughs> like, cause people. I, like <laughs> I don't mean like, I mean like a friend. I mean, hey man, hey, day. how you rock? How you rock, baby? I mean, I do bring him girls every now. Hey, <laughs> look at you! See? I've done it once or twice, you know. Yeah. Um, but you know, um, yeah. You say that you're you were tired of living minimally. What is exactly a typical? What was exactly uh, exactly a typical you know brokey day for y'all back then? Um, not having money to put gas in the car. You know what I'm saying? Um, like, rent was behind a few months at one point, you know. Um, I'm not saying that it just, like, work doesn't always come in all the time for my moving company, and I don't think he feels comfortable going out, getting a job, doing something else because of, because of who he is, mm -hmm. you know. And also, I think depression helps you not want to do a lot. You know what I mean? So when I say minimal, he just does the bare minimum. Like, he's just a kind of minimal guy, you know? I went to work today. I did a couple of moving jobs. Okay, I'm done. I'm going to just chill now. Hmm. But how about mowing the lawn? We're getting HOA fines. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. shit like that. Like, so depression is something that will cripple you. <clears throat> and so you took the lead. Yeah, I mean, I, I just, I just, I do what I have to do when I have to do it. I've always, I mean, I've always had to take care of myself and my, you know, myself and my kid when I, you know, she was with me. So, I always did I salute you to, for that, though. You know? I salute you for that. You know, um, depression is real. Mm -hmm. Mental health is real. Um and I want to just say that, you know, not everybody deals with it the same way, but just because I fight through everything and I'm, like, happy every day doesn't mean that I'm not fucking depressed inside. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I just, I can't afford to allow my depression to take me over. You know, I be sad all the time. Like, I'll, I'll cry in the shower. You know what I mean? Like, I, it's not, he's not alone in that. You know, and it's not even that it's my depression. I'm feeling his. I'm a cancer. Mm -hmm. We take on people's stuff, you know, and I'm also an empath. So I feel like my body hurts in places where it shouldn't. I didn't play ball. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? So I take in all of with 
do this. You know, when you sleep with someone every day and you're with them all the time, you take on their energy and their stuff. And I think um, what's happening with the manifestations and me and my, I've been taking myself away from allowing that mm. energy to absorb me, mm -hmm. you know? Yes, ma'am. And I think that's why this happened the way it did, honestly. Do you think depression can cause performance issues in the bedroom? Um, yeah, some, I, I mean, no. I'm not going to say that. I think if we have any issues in that department, it's because he's just not really, you know, thinking about me. <laughs> what? <laughs> We be not thinking about you. You're gorgeous. No, like um, when you're with someone for a very long time and they know you, and they know, like they know your dirty drawers. You know. Okay. Sometimes it's um. I I mean honestly, I personally have been very not intimate yes. because I just don't feel like it. And that's because I have to worry too much about bills. Like Marilyn Monroe said, how can a girl be concerned about making love when she's too busy worrying about how her rent's going to be paid? You know, and that's just really what it is. And so um, when we do do it, I, I do it because I know I have to because it's like, damn, I ain't did it in a minute. Let me do it now so I can make sure he's not going to run off and go do it with, you know, somebody else when he goes to visit someone in Virginia or, you know, be on the phone jerking off with somebody or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Which is prop which is part of the reason why I did this because I was mad, you know, when I was arguing with him and I was like, man, fuck that. You're gonna talk about my only fans, but bitches and whatever. What what's fucked up? What's fucked up? <laughs> Tell me what's fucked up. It's not fucked up. What's fucked up is I've been asking you for solutions to shit, but you're not giving me none. That's what's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? But you have time to think about this and you know what I'm saying? Come does, on, does, it add, right. does it add more fuel to the fire knowing that home is not taken care of but so much attention may be on other places with the man? Yeah, and I'd be wondering, like, yo, like, um, I swear something happened that the pension check had to go someplace else. But when it was coming, I was like, so you about to get your pension check and go to Virginia? I straight up asked that. You know, like, that's what your plan is? No. No, what my plan is, but I feel like the answer, how he answered me, felt like it wasn't, you know, like you can tell when someone's being honest with you or not. Just like yeah. there's nothing going on, but I, I'm looking in your phone right now. I'm like, I see this shit. Like, what do you mean there's nothing going on? Tell me what that is, you know? What is that? Yeah, I mean, that's your wife. Right. So... <laughs> and I know that it's it, honest and it has nothing to do with me. It's for him. It's his ego, his ego, because they don't know who you are. They don't sleep with you. They don't know what your financial situation is. They think it's gravy. And I'm just because you over there kicking me in my back. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Making them think that I'm just not your piece and that I'm just your I'm your problem. You know? Oh, yeah, because I uh, before today, I just didn't know what to think about you. I was triggered as hell. But now speaking to you. Um, getting a different context of things or whatever, um, you know, my I am quickly seeing some light. You know, um, the, the 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 you're a survivor. That I am. I've been through a lot. I've been on my own since I was 16 years old. And you're gonna make it happen. And unfortunately, you normally women operate better when things are when I'm under pressure. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> you sure you ain't play no ball? <laughs> it came on the line. You shoot, you going for three. Pass, kiss, pass, kiss the ball. Yo, pass me the ball. Swoop. I got it. I got, it. I got you. Um, have you lost respect for Joe Smith at all? And if and if you have, what has made you lose respect? Um. I don't not respect him. I think that, I mean, he said that to me before once we had an argument. He's like, you don't respect me. But it's not about respect. It's about, 
I, I look, I didn't have neither one of my parents, my mother or my father, you know? So it's about guidance. You, you feel me? It's about needing someone to be in your life to help you get shit right, you know? And um, I have so many creative ideas. I have done so many things. Like, if you guys check out Puppy Friend Social Club, you'd be like, but she did all that. What happened to it? Because behind, they say behind every <laughs> great man is a, a, a better woman. Mm -hmm. I was like, he made me feel like a piece of shit. <laughs> like, why am I not enough to make you aspire to be better? You know? And then I have to understand that it's not me, it's you. So that's where I'm at right now with that. Um, yeah, it's been a very interesting ride with him. And I hope it's not over. You know, I hope that this helps him find himself and he finds a new, like, Joe is the man. Like, the comments for him are insane. Like, people love him. Mm -hmm. They're like, I'm, I'm, I'm a horrible person. Like, I got death threats and shit. Like, like people really want to do fuckery to me, they say. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not good. My girlfriend called me today. She's like, bitch, I hope you're carrying that with you. I'm like, yeah, I got it. She's like, not, not, not in the car, bitch, on you. Mm. You know? Because they're in her DMs trolling. Like, it's weird. Um, so, you know, I hope he understands that he's a very important person to a lot of people. For sure. <laughs> and that's, that's motherfucking Joe Smith. Yeah, we ain't, exactly. we ain't gonna water him down. No, not at all. Yeah. And neither will I. Like, I'm not gonna say that Joe hasn't been doing anything. He does what he can do in the capacity that he can do it. You know, like we all have responsibilities in our house. He takes care of the rent. I take care of the property in Cape Verde. My daughter handles the utilities, you know, but sometimes one of us can fall short. You know, sometimes he falls short. You know, sometimes his falling short is a little bit too much because he doesn't communicate with us and tell us. So then it's like three, four months and we're like, ah, what do you mean four months? So you haven't, why? Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yes, so that's what I'm like, dude, what are you, what are you gonna do? That's what I'm like. I'd be like, yo, what are you going to do? We can't, this cannot continue. I don't want to live like this. You know, I went from traveling all over Germany and I can go pop over to Amsterdam or Spain or Barcelona or, you know what I mean? Like, I've been living a good life and then I stopped living the life because I keep choosing you. Mm. I choose you. You know what I'm saying? I've been choosing you. I still choose you. I choose you. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But, I'm going to just say, I got to do whatever I got to do right now to make this work. You know? During, you during his playing career, it was, it was stated that he made over $61 million during that time period. Um, <clears throat> when you met him, do you think that he was capping about his financial stability? or um, He wouldn't something? allow me access. I had no idea about... Like, I would go through mail, and I would be like, oh, how much money do you have in your bank account? He's like, I don't know. And like, he legit did know. And I'd be like, well, you have this much over here and not that much over there. You know what I'm saying? Um, but he had a lot of bad women in his life, you know, prior to me, mm -hmm. who were not forthright or honest with their dealings with his finances, the ex-wife included. Mm. Excuse me. So that being said... When it came to me, I'd be like, babe, I need a couple of dollars um, to go to the store. Let me get your card. No, I'm going to go to the bank, and I'll get the money, and I'll be right back with the money. Huh. Like, what the hell? You know, it took a long time for him to trust me with stuff. He was traumatized by it. Hell yeah, and I don't blame him, too. A bitch walk off with $100,000 of my money, and the police don't do nothing and say it's he say, she say. What kind of shit is that? How did Monica slaughter him? Uh, still over a hundred thousand dollars. They were dating. Joe. They were dating, and he left her at the house after while he was going to practice or something. And she found the checks, and her and this guy went and did what they did. Like I have her on tape telling me that if I tell you how I got the money, 
one of the baby moms is going to have issues or some shit like that. Like, it wasn't a cahoots type thing, and I know exactly with who it was because these freaking stupid birds are on Twitter talking with each other. Like, it was really weird shit. And then making fake pages for me. Do you know who Yasmin Penn Davis is? When I tell you, I left the country to change everything, mm. to become Kiss Major, mm. you know? And then I come back here and you throw this shit in my face. Like, what kind of, like... In public, there was no Yasmin persona. But after she did that, oh well, I hey. guess I have to embrace, you know. Point four percent. Right, and, <laughs> and then you know, and then when shit hit the fan and money was necessary, then well, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Mm-mm-mm. I think she's a uh, she's a little fizzy baby mama now too. Y- yeah, one of those B two K. Beware, brother. Beware. <laughs> Beware. Beware. <laughs> Let's talk about some more greener pastures. Yeah. Mr. Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus, what it do, boo? You getting mad, props right now. I know they're just following you, bruh. They trying to find out what it do. With sisters, too. Like. <laughs> um, you, have, you have had uh, interactions with some of pornography's legends mr marcus sean michaels i mean i'm a legend myself facts really though facts no don't play with her bomb drop (laughs) right so um how is it going from people that have sex professionally to just normal people okay so point taken right hulk hogan Back in the day, he Mm -hmm. said, I have an 11 inch penis and da 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 da. Mm -hmm. And then someone sued him for it because he didn't have an 11 inch penis. He said, But that's not, I'm not Hulk Hogan. Wow. You understand what I'm saying? We have personas. Mm. So that persona does that. And then I come home and I'm a wife and I go cook my dinner and I do what I do, you know? I found that throughout my career, I spent a lot when I was work. I always, I said this, mm-hmm. I'd be working and making my money and doing my thing, and then I meet somebody and I quit working and end up broken alone. Wow. So, you know, I just. It's hard to find a balance. It was, you know. So, but nobody, but you have, to, it was like date someone. When I was dating one of my coworkers, mm-hmm. like I dated Julian St. Jocks for a while. I love I love Paul. He was amazing. Mm. Great guy. Um, I was making my money. I was fine. Mm. But that was Janet Jackney's man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I was having problems. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'll just back up because Janet loves you. You know? Um, I didn't know all of that. Like, you know, I was just coming into the game mm-hmm. and just meeting people and doing my thing. So I, I didn't mean to step on any toes, Janet, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but, um, yeah. So so there's kind of a separation of the two. There's definitely a separation of the two. I have to have that. I have to have that separation. And I think I always ended up broken up because they wouldn't allow me to have that separation. They kept blurring my lines, you know. So you wouldn't consider Joe a cuck for dating a porn star? Say what? Would you consider Joe a cuck? A cuckold? A cuckold? Yeah. No, a, a cuckold is someone who likes to watch their woman get fucked oh. by someone else. See, I'm, I'm an L7. I'm yeah, that's what <laughs> cuckold is. So, it's it's kind of like a basket For you, it's kind of like a basketball player leaving the gym. You're playing the ball, you're in the game. Right. And the game's over. Game's over. I'm going go home. home and chilling, right. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm learning. I'm learning. See, I be trying to, I be trying to educate myself. Um... Because uh, in, in, a, in a prior interview, you said that you have a low body count yeah. as far as you. Yeah, me. For sure. Yeah. And then the persona, well, that's a whole different story. She in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how do the bodies differentiate or oh, whatever? How, do the, how does the, because uh, I can imagine Keisha mm-hmm. has a low body count. Yeah. But got down. Yasmin had to get her money. Huh? huh. She was. Yasmin was hell, boy. Still Yasmin is. Hell yeah. <laughs> she, she was, you know. No, I, I, I can, I can, res- I can respect that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> just uh, leaving it on the court. Leave leaving it on the court. court. <laughs> yeah, uh, leave it on the court. Exactly. You know, I, I, I like to, um, 
you know, my podcast is a, uh, really the podcast is about debunking myths mm -hmm. and giving people an, an actual uh, a platform to tell their truths. Right. Right. So when people what say so things boring. like, <laughs> when people say things like Joe tried to turn a hoe into a housewife, what is your reply to those? Um, my reply to that is when Joe met me, I was actually a singer. There it is. I came from Germany. Mm -hmm. Um performing, opening for Boys and Man, opening for Drew Hill. I had my own tour. I traveled most of Eastern Europe. Mm -hmm. um, I speak another language. Pop it, baby. You know, I came to him with value, you know, um, not looking to ride his coattails, or actually maybe a little bit, because I was hoping that, you know, my music and him, he did music, we could just do this together. Like, we were supposed to be Jay and Beyonce on, on the run tour, you know? <laughs> but we were Beauty and the Beast, actually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, for sure. But, you know, I mean, I've just figured that things would, you know, work with us like that. Um, I kind of got off track. What was the question again? I'm sorry. No, we were just talking about people that may say that. Yeah, so I'm not, you know, I think they think I'm a gold digger. They think I'm a, I'm just a nasty little trifling ass hoe who just doesn't give a fuck. And I put my man's business on the internet and da 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 um, But what they don't know is that I'm a hardworking woman who has been riding with Joe throughout his entire retirement. You know, I've never lived in a million dollar house. Not. That's surprising. You know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I've never, you know, I drove his Porsche until he didn't have it anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> mm. now we drive my car, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because other cars got messed up or whatever have you. But it's not like I'm with him, you know, through thick and thin. Mm. And it's been mostly thin. Mm. And I think I need to be respected for that, you know? Don't ask me what I did. Ask me why I did it. Come on. Did Joe support you in any way before you ran this, you know, OnlyFans play? Um, when we were in California, he helped me with some things. Like, I had my license was suspended. He helped, gave me a couple of grand to help fix that. Um, you know, when I wanted to go out, he'd give me, like, when I first met him, you know, he gave me a couple of hundred dollars to go out or whatever uh -huh. have you. You know, he okay. tried, but he couldn't maintain that. You know what I mean? And I didn't understand that. And if I would have known what his financial situation is prior to it being too ugly, mm -hmm. <laughs> until the money got ugly money, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey! Um, <laughs> I would have been able to help make another play to where we could have monetized and, you know, invested that in something else or... I could have, I could have definitely made a difference in his financial situation had he shown me some trust prior to it being too late, which is basically a thing with us. It's always too late, you know. <clears throat> I like that. Um, the fact that you, Excuse you me. wanted to help, you just weren't allowed to. Yeah, exactly. And you know, and, until it was too late, you know. And also, I feel like. Like I said, I think it, I think it's more. I don't want to think that it's he just don't care. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just really want to think that it's the depression that stopped him from doing some things because my moving company I had for quite a while before he decided he was going to work with it. Hmm. You know, yeah. And that was like something that was forced on him because of other situations. So, you know, had you been working with me in the moving company from the very beginning, yeah. Who knows? how things could have transpired or whatever, you know. <laughs> so I got a funny question. And shout out my brother Slump. He's uh, my business partner. He, he's, he's this guy from California that just, he's like a human Jeopardy. Hi, Slump. <laughs> What's up, Slump? Because <laughs> uh, <clears throat> he always has these interesting questions for me. And uh, he says, if your info of your OnlyFans is on your Instagram, how on earth... Did none of his friends alert him? <laughs> and why wasn't he monitoring your IG? Um, I don't know. Nobody was paying attention to me or him. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then you have to maintain friendships with people for them to be onto your shit and be like, yo, you know your girl, you know, like he don't talk to none of his friends from the league or anything. Hmm. He talks to family members, his kids, me our family, our immediate family at home, mm -hmm. you know. So, he just wasn't paying attention. Yeah. That's, that's, that may be a mistake. Fellas, pay attention to your woman. Pay attention. 
Women like attention. I mean, like, if you look at my Instagram, I look like I'm single. No, for sure. Like, I go out, I'm always out by myself. Not that I want to be. He just opts not to go. How would you react <clears throat> to a financially struggling Joe taking you to Cheesecake Factory? <laughs> you know that list is crazy. <laughs> no, no. I'll can we go to the Cheesecake Factory? Yes, baby, we can go to the Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, you would be factory. cool with it. Yes. <laughs> We've gone to the Cheesecake Factory. It's not my restaurant of choice. Okay, okay, okay. You know, but if that's what we got to do, that's what we got to do. You're going you gonna, you gonna to be cool with it? Yeah. He can get a second date after that? Of course. What about Applebee's? That was on the list, no, that's, too. that's... that's not, not going? I'm not going to Applebee's. I know this nice little Dominican <laughs> spot that's even cheaper than Applebee's. Okay. And <laughs> <laughs> Cheesecake, cool. Applebee's is a no-go. No. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a no-go. Do you, um... Most majority of men that are married to women, uh, most women would be scared to be as outspoken as you have been. Uh, You've been very transparent. You've been truthful. But most women would be scared. Do you feel that your husband is scared of you? Or is it the fact that you may have something on him that he doesn't want out? Because he hasn't tried to hush you. Or has he? I think he thinks by not speaking to me, that's going to make me shut up and sit down. But that's making me more angry. (laughs) <laughs> you gonna have to pick up that phone. <laughs> yeah, that's making me more angry. And um, at this point in the game, I just, I really don't mm. give a fuck anymore. I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? I'm just tired. And I want things to change. And if this is how things are going to change and he's going to get the help he needs and we can either, like I said this before, I was like, we're either going to make it through this or we're not. Mm. But I already know that. I'll be there for him if he needs me whenever. That's hard. That's dope. You know? That's dope. Like, that's just what it is. I got you always. Do you think, um, and I want want to ask an honest question. Uh, Had you known that Joe Smith was having such financial problems, do you think you would have ever married him? No. If he hadn't lied and told me he only had two kids, I would not have ever gotten with him. Like, when I met him, he was like, I got two kids. And then as I was involved, like, you know, I told you, I go through shit. Shit, children started falling out the fucking fucking envelopes for (laughs) Dyfus. Not Dyfus, but, you know, saying child support envelopes. I'm like, who's this person? Who's that person? Wait a second. How many kids do you have? You know? So I was already really invested by the time that I found out I was five kids, no, six kids in and five baby mamas you know what i'm saying so um i feel like i got like i got tricked just a little bit (laughs) so you got tricked i got tricked (laughs) no really i got tricked don't let them fool you make sure you check (laughs) how many kids do you really have (laughs) that's that's a that's a that's an honest assessment that's an honest assessment i mean you know that would have been a deal breaker for me like i have one kid you know what i'm saying one Shouts out to her. Yes, and she's absolutely amazing. She is. Yes. I look forward to meeting her and having her on my show Wednesday. She's coming on Trigger Alert. She's ready. She looks like she's already ready to go. Yeah, she's ready. <laughs> <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Yeah. Shout out, Lulu. I keep doing your pew, pew. I love Shut you, Lulu. <laughs> um, do you think that anything that you had done in your prior occupation helped keep your marriage together yeah i think that that's how i got him (laughs) no that's definitely i I was like put it in my ass do it here daddy let's do it every night he would be like yo leave me alone like sometimes he just was like can you stop (laughs) you know i was on it i would be getting mad like why don't you want to you know but i felt like that's what i had to do to get him I don't know. Hmm. Like, I'm going to just say that, you know, I need therapy. <laughs> we, we all do. 
in some shape, form, or fashion. <laughs> no, I do need therapy, not medication. <laughs> okay, just for the next doctor that I see, if you're watching this too. <laughs> um, yeah, I just need to talk to someone, man, about getting my shit together and my sexual self. Like, I'm sexual, sometimes over-sexual, sometimes mm. not too sexual. You know what I mean? Depends, like, if you touch me the wrong way, I might be pissed off, mm. you know, if I'm in, you know, just certain little things. Like, I have my little quirky things. Like, so what are things that turn you on? What turned me on, like... Well, she got a smile on, y'all. <laughs> a lot turns me on. You know, I love to... I like to play. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm a, I'm a big kid, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So that's like a form of intimacy, playing with me, tickling and shit, like little wrestling and stuff. Mm -hmm. And bite my neck. What? Oh, you about to get freaky now? Let's go. <laughs> you know? Um, I like... I like someone who's aggressive a little bit. Um... Yeah, I like a little a little bit of um just flip me over. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My hair. Okay. I, I, it won't I, come off. Oh, get in there. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, not tonight at least. Uh, <laughs> or tomorrow. <laughs> there it is. My hat on, my hair hat. <laughs> don't pull it when I have my hair hat on, please. Thank you. If things don't reconcile. Would you go back to shooting boy girl content? Oh, definitely not. Mm -mm. No. Interesting. I would produce it. Okay. Yeah. Some boss shit. Yes, I like that. Yes, yes. I like that. But no. No. Not nobody myself. can get a scene with with, with kids. I mean, like. I mean. If you want to give me one point five million. One point five. One point five. Maybe shit. two. I'll do it. But I'm not. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to. Okay. I like it. I respect it. Yeah. The production is dope, though. That you know that that's the next, that's the next um you know the next phase of things. You know you go from coach you go from playing to coaching. Right. Yeah. Exactly. That's that, but that could be a, that that could be something that y'all are doing now. Because it seems to me like there's a problem. No one's tr well. He's not trying to solve it, and you're like, hey, it's a problem here. We need some money. Mm -hmm. So let's come together and find out ways like that, that we can if solve it. Would get on my OnlyFans with me. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh my sure. God, the numbers would go crazy. Fucking go crazy. Like I wish he would. You know, come home and let's let's put a little shoot together and do it ourselves. Like I got all the. I just graduated from film school. I have all the equipment. <laughs> you know, so I got lights, camera, let's action. I I seen um. Uh, there's a there's a podcast uh, goes by the name of No Jumper. It's a guy named Adam Twenty Two. Have you ever heard of him? Oh, I heard of him. Yeah. Actually, my people are reaching out to see if he wants to talk to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, a yeah, porn star. Yeah, he's, I heard he's, of Adam. Adam is crazy. That was yeah. a wild guy. So Adam recently had a he 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 he's been shooting scenes with his wife for quite some time now, mm -hmm. and they'll always shoot scenes with another woman mm -hmm. or whatever. But recently, Adam had his wife shoot with another man. I heard about this. Big black nigga. <laughs> back and I think it, it broke the internet. Okay. It literally broke the internet. And, you know, Adam is not saying how much he made, but, you know, us watching people that, you know, in right. podcast land, it's definitely well over eight figures. What? For sure. Come on, Joe. Come home. Let's do it again. Come on, Daddy. <laughs> it's just figure it out. New new profession. Bring it home. <laughs> you are hilarious. I like you. <laughs> I like you. You are dope. Um I I you know, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't, but but I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, ma'am. Like I, I you know, I, I was wondering I was when I um when I hit up my, my brother from Purple Shell, my brother Tsunami. I was like, because I saw him on, you know, on the show. I'm like, yo, bro, I got to interview her. And he was like, man, I'm going to hit her up and see what we can do. And I was like, you know, because I had no idea that you guys were, you know, in, in the area. And I was like, oh, we got to make it happen. And uh, and then, I, you know, I watched your interview with them. And I was like, well, she doesn't seem like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, she, seems, she seems pretty nice. <laughs> He's like, no, she's cool. She's cool or whatever. So I didn't know what to expect. And I can only imagine if, if your daughter seen my content, she didn't know what to expect. Right. But I think I think it's dope that we can both sit here and have an amazing conversation. Exactly. And respect each other's viewpoints. Yes. 
No, nah, for sure, for sure, man. Uh, thank you, you for not calling me a hoe and bashing me and stuff. No, nah, I don't do that. People I, are reckless on the internet, yeah. I'm like, man. You know, my, my, if my, I was, if yeah. I was like really depressed, y'all nigga right? bitch kill herself. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> but I'm not that depressed. So don't worry about no, it. On, I'm here on, to stay. On my content, I just hold women accountable <laughs> for their shit, their yeah. bullshit. I be like, hey, that's some bullshit, and I'm calling it bullshit. But at no point in time am I ever here to um you know to, to bash women at all you know it actually well tell that to Stephen A. Smith what did he do he he just he's horrible he just I he bashed the hell out of me you have to go watch his thing it's like he's just terrible 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 guy well so opinionated in the wrong way well Stephen A. is watching it's, what are we telling him Listen, can we have a sit down? Can we talk about why I did it? You know what I'm saying? Not what I did, but why? Like, you can't just go making your assumptions and really not having the full facts, bruh. That's fair. So you believe that Stephen A. actually is speaking out of turn because he doesn't he's know. He's speaking it because he doesn't know. He's just making assumptions. Like, he does, like, he assumes he's, <laughs> like, he assumes his sports things. <laughs> <laughs> you know? He's just very loud and obnoxious for no reason. <laughs> You know, don't do that with me. I'm serious. Yeah. I'm not the one because I'm just as I can be as loud as obnoxious as you, bro. And we can go toe to toe. Let's go. You want to talk about it? Let's talk about it. Because that wasn't nice, and I don't. I'm I'm not in agreement with how you discussed my family. Hmm. Not me. Not my man. Not none of it. Period. So even now, you still defend Joe. Yeah, cause cute. I love him. I do. I want him to have the best. Like I don't. I know he's. I know he's mad at me, and I'm like, he's probably, you know, I don't know, whatever he's doing. I don't even care about the sex. It's like, don't lie about it. You know what I'm saying? If you want to see somebody, just tell me. I'm so chill. Like, come on. I under like, dude. You don't take your car to just a break guy for everything. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you need your freaking engine checked. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Do you think the other women, because I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that you're saying there were other women or instances of other women, mm -hmm. do you think that helped you pull out the phone when you guys had that? Yeah, that's exactly why. Because that's who freaking, I know that's who told him. One of the, well, the one, I'm not gonna, I'm not giving her no light. Mm. So, but this chick, you know what I'm saying? So, the side chick. Right. Not even a side chick. Okay. She's a begging chick singing songs. Proud family. <laughs> What's that remake? Okay. Proud family songs. Okay. Sending him proud family songs and all kind of <laughs> dumb ass shit. Come on, bitch. Get it together. <laughs> Why is he coming home to me? Because I'm the one. Mm -mm -mm. So so basically, the uh, the begging chick is the one that yeah, spilled the beans. I bet you have to come home to her. I know we both have our situations. Okay, well, you know what? Like I said before, I've, I've really enjoyed this. Me too. Uh, anytime you want to come back on the show, man, it's, it's, it's always welcome. I think welcome. I might want to do Trigger, Trigger, whatever one day. You want to come on Trigger Alert? One day, maybe. We'd love yeah. to have you. One day, one day. We'd one love day. to have you. Because you know what? You, you you have a very zenful spirit. You might be able to calm me down on that show. You think? <laughs> like, hold on, Nietzsche. Calm down, okay? <laughs> what she was trying to say was her inner hoe was trying to come out. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. She wants to embrace it. Let her. Can a man turn a hoe into a housewife? Um, there's no such thing as, okay, look, let me address that really quickly. Um, it's not about turning a hoe into a housewife. You know, there are women out there who are married who would never do porn and look at me like I'm the worst trash in the world, but they out there pregnant for the next man. You know what I'm saying? So... Look at that kind of stuff. You feel me? Um, I'm not telling anybody to go out and do what I did. I'm not saying go be a porn star. Honestly, I would prefer that you all go to school and try to become filmmakers and, and songwriters and artists and painters and, you know, alchemists because we're going to need that one day. Hey. You know what I mean? I prefer to encourage you to do that, but hey, what it is, what it is right now. It is what yeah. it is right now. <laughs> and you know, grandma's out here doing what she got to do. So if you guys do what you got to do, do what you got to do. Point, point, point four. Period, point blank. Point four percent. Point four percent. Hey, no, hey no. somebody like grandma. 
<laughs> is it is it I'm about to wrap it up. Is it hard to have sex with regular men after dating porn stars? Not at all. In fact, like you want to like you know what I hate? And I'm just say just in case I end up single. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> hey, you never know. <laughs> Don't try to fuck me like a porn star. I'll punch you in your face. Wow. <laughs> punch you dead in your chest, son. Yo, so no, <laughs> don't even do it. So no no porn nah, star dick. Don't, don't, don't try to give me no porn star dick because I'm going to be really mad at you. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't try to the, the Julian St. job. Yeah, ooh. <laughs> None of that. Don't have that one leg. <laughs> don't do that of that. No. Just, you know what I'm saying? Let me, just you know, like, do it good. You know, I like circus sex. Don't get it twisted. Okay. I don't Sorry. want no porn sex. And it's just the kind of way guys think porn stars like to get fucked. And that's for the movies. It's not real life. I mean, you know, I can imagine if a man is insecure about his size or his performance, dating a porn star would be terrifying. I'm just saying little dicks matter. <laughs> they feel good, too. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I remember the days of little dicks. Sometimes I wish they were here. Okay. Because <laughs> the baby aren't be killing me from nights. So you never really had, uh, performance-wise, you never had any major complaints <laughs> no, from just your husband Not versus husband. porn stars? No, my husband is, like, better than the porn star. He's just like Shawn Michaels. Oh, dope. Dope. He's got a baby arm, too. <laughs> like, <laughs> that nigga say Baby arm having ass niggas. <laughs> He's a, yo, Joe went to the wrong profession because he could have made millions at porn and still be doing it right now. I'm just saying. Your knees don't work, but your dick does. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga a fool, bro. <laughs> well, if you can turn up single, I'm pretty sure it's a lot of girls that are going to want to shoot with your husband. <laughs> could have did it with you. I'm saying, if he's going to shoot with anybody, he better come back and do it with me. That's the only boy girl I would do. That's hard. That's hard. Like, um... How can an experienced woman tell if a guy has what it takes? Like, uh, what do you, what do guys, you know, as far as, you know, is it, is it the height, the shoe size? Can you tell what he's packing no. from his hands? Some, sometimes that's deceptive. <laughs> like, you can have really big feet, really big hands, and then you have a little penis. That's, that's happened before. I think a seven-foot tall just... Man, I've been so mis... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just say this: Italians have really big balls. <laughs> That's that, crazy. that might make you think they have big penises, but it's really all ball. Have you? Have you? Did you ever date any? Don't Italian? hate me, Italian guys. I don't know <laughs> you. Just like you know, but some of them might like that because guys are into small penis humiliation and all kind of shit, yo. They'd be like, "Tell me how small my penis is." How you want to watch me check it off? I was like, your penis is so small. Yeah, that's that's them German motherfuckers you fucking with out there. You said that to a nigga out there, nigga. Be like, what the fuck you say? <laughs> hey, Look, uh, I'm gonna just sip my water and be quiet. Yeah, no, you good, you good. You, so, uh, I get the videos too. Before Joe, because I don't want to get you in any trouble. Before Joe, did you ever have any interactions with other athletes? Celebrities and athletes, yes. Okay, so question. Broke nigga dick, athlete dick. Say what? what what's, the, what, what's the question? Well, broke the question dick? is, because a lot of women say that no is no dick like broke nigga dick. Is that true? I mean, I think that's why I'm a gold digger hey. and not a gold digger because, yeah, I don't, I mean, like, he's not, I, yeah. But I get tired of it real quick. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like fuck that broke nigga dick. <laughs> no, you like, okay, enough of that. Like, I got a nut, but the nigga, that's high tail. The rent's got to get paid. What's going on? <laughs> um, since you do like anal, why don't more black women like anal, or do they, you think? I think a lot of them do. Hmm. They just ain't been telling us? Yeah. I mean, and you're probably not approaching it right. How should a man approach doing anal with a girl? Okay, well, first, you should, like, eat her booty. Got to toss a salad. 
got to definitely toss a salad. Get it nice and ready. Play with it a little bit with your finger before you just go put it in. Make sure you have good lube and do it slow. You got to like, you know, let her, like once it starts feeling good, she'll back up on it. Oh, and make sure it's like she cleans out first so she's comfortable. Like you have to know what you're doing. You know, you want to encourage an enema before, babe, let's try this. Oh, it's going to be dirty and nasty. No, baby, here, you do this enema right quick. I'll put it in for you. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like do like do it together. Teamwork made the dream work. Yeah, it does. And that's more intimate. That's, like, so intimate. You know what I mean? Like, oh, he did my enema for me. You know, like, he put it in. He's not seeing anything gross, but he's, like, you know, helping you douche what he wants to play in. Ladies and gentlemen, that is your free game alert for today. Free game <laughs> alert. <laughs> Last question of the night. And then uh, it's getting late. And I appreciate you. And I got to take a yeah, right. Do you consider Joe Smith a, a simp? What do you mean? Then that means he's not one. Good job. Because <laughs> if you knew, if you thought he was a simp, you would have said he is a simp. No. Simps are uh, suckers. No. Respect. Definitely not. I think he just um, trusts the wrong people. Amen. And now he needs to come back and trust me. Because I've I've been I've been here, you know what I'm saying. This is just a little hiccup in the road that happened to be like, man, <laughs> pull your bootstraps up, let's go. I'm on my, let's go. And my little little voice. Yeah. So I'm not trying to be like, you know, F R E E. I'm trying to be with you, B. Come on, let's go. How has attention been though? Has attention been? I know it's been crazy. Like, how is this new found attention? I, I um, gave? I'm so grateful. Mm -hmm. That's, I'm beyond grateful. You know, I'm really, uh, I'm, I'm feeling blessed and I'm grateful, but I'm also a little overwhelmed, a little anxious. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, it's like, wow, be careful what you ask for. Hey, because you know, Steph Curry's wife, Aisha Curry, mm -hmm. has often said that she wishes that she would get the attention that Steph gets from the opposite sex. Um, she gets it. She's just put down playing. She's, downplaying and if she's not getting it it's because she just seems like that's like they just got that much respect for stuff you mm. know what i'm saying but she get niggas in her dm stop playing alicia stop it <laughs> niggas ain't shit <laughs> they trying to see if you with it they try to slide on stuff yes. chick -pee. yeah of course they are they naturally <laughs> for sure like yo he's on the road ma what's good i know your dms is lit right about now though um yeah but a lot of weirdos <laughs> There's some blue checks in there. They, they're they paid for now. Everybody got a blue check. <laughs> yeah. Damn, you know what? The blue check thing just kind of went out the it window. It don't matter, yeah. But it's some notable name. It's some guy. It's some niggas with Wikipedia pages. <laughs> Wait, you if you got a Wikipedia page, he's somebody. Why are you being funny, though? I'm just saying. There's some <laughs> niggas with Wikipedia pages in that DM now. I mean, you know. You know what I'm saying? A little I motion. Mean, people to I mean, you, you might have some options if you happen to be single. Um, You know. We'll see. Hey. <laughs> hope you happy with Virginia and shit. <laughs> Don't stay too long. I'm not going to get you in any more trouble. <laughs> you know what? Before we get out of here, let these people know where to follow you at. Because okay. it was hard as hell to find you on Instagram. Let these people know where to follow you at, what you got coming up, what they can find. Everything, Miss Kiss. Okay. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at I-A-M-K-Y-S-S-M-A-J-O-R. That's I am Kiss Major. Only fans is um, Kiss Major, a.k.a. Yasmeen Penn Davis. Hey. Um, Music-wise, go on iTunes and check out all of my music. Um, I prefer you listen to Better Than You and Breathe, because that's the newest shit. I got a video on YouTube for Breathe. All right. Um, yeah, check me out. And any filmmakers out there, I have a reel. I direct. I write. I shoot. Let's work. Let's go. That's all right. Yeah. I wish you the best, Queen. Oh, thank you so much. And I, I Thank you for you. having me. God bless you. Give me a hug. Oh, I get a hug. I get a hug. I get a hug. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, remember the bigger the dream, the bigger the risk, the bigger the payout. This has been the Ugly Money Podcast with Kiss Major. Let her tinkle and we'll just take a picture when she comes back because I know she got to go.